everybody welcome back to another book talk today we are going to be talking about squirrels squirrels are a fun fall animal to explore during this time of year and i'm going to share with you four picture books that talk about squirrels and hopefully these are picture books you haven't seen before and hopefully they get you interested in this topic and allow you to introduce this one to your little ones and just have a fun story to read all right let's get started so the first story that I'm going to talk to you about is called The Squirrel's Sweater, and this is by Laura Renald, and this adorable picture book is all about a squirrel who wants to wear her favorite sweater for the warm winter event right before some of her friends start to hibernate. So this story follows a squirrel as she's looking for her favorite sweater. Now this sweater is something that her grandmother knit for her and she desperately wants to wear it for the uh, winter event, but unfortunately the sweater doesn't quite fit her anymore. So she goes out to all of her friends seeing if they can help her fix the sweater so that it fits her again. It's a super, super sweet story. Children will be able to see all the different problem solving skills, but also see some really cute forest animals and really talks to them about how it's okay to grow up and that things change and change is okay as well. So it's a really sweet story with a very sweet ending. I don't want to spoil it for you, but it has really pretty illustrations. It's a quick read, so it's a great option to bring in a story about squirrels and winter and gr moving on, growing up, and um, but still being able to keep things that make you feel loved and, and to remind you of some good memories. All right, so the next story I want to talk to you about is called Good Night Bat, Good Morning Squirrel, and this is by Paul Meisel. And this is a really, really funny story. It's still sweet too, about a bat that is looking for a new place to live and finds a place to live, a new home with squirrel. Unbeknownst to squirrel, a bat flies in there, falls asleep, squirrel wakes up and is like, oh my goodness, there's a bat in here. Um, but since bat is sleeping, bat is not listening. So squirrel writes a note letting bat know that Bat cannot live in her home, he must leave, but Bat doesn't quite understand that. And see, Bat really doesn't understand the message. Squirrel says, Bat, bug off, but Bat misinterprets that and thinks that means that Squirrel just doesn't want bugs on her bed. So there's a lot of funny miscommunications between all these notes until the end of the story where Squirrel realizes she doesn't want to live without Bat and they both realize that they're better off as friends and that Squirrel is more than happy to share her home with Bat. So again, this is a really short story with lots of fun illustrations and just a sweet story with a little bit of humor in there with that miscommunication. So the next story that I want to share with you is called A Friend Like You. And this is, again, another really sweet story. This time our characters are Squirrel and Bird. So these are our two main characters here. And again, it's another fun friendship story where Squirrel runs into Bird and Squirrel realizes that Bird doesn't know where she is and Bird is like, who's this squirrel? And they start talking about some of their differences, but then they start trying new things. So Bird will try eating some nuts and Squirrel will try to fly. And they realize that even though they have a lot of differences, they can still be friends. So they talk about how each of them have to try new things. And then Squirrel really doesn't want Bird to leave. So they talk about how they can still be together as friends by still but still celebrating their differences but also you know trying new things and trying out each other's way of life so again it's a really sweet story it's a little bit longer than the other ones but not too much longer really really pretty illustrations and a sweet friendship story that i think everyone would really enjoy and great for fall and kind of going through life in the woods and during that season um, but a really really sweet story all right, so the last story that I wanna share with you is called The Squirrel's Family Tree, and this is by Beth Ferry. And then this story is a little bit different than the last couple that I've shared with you already. This story has a bit muted colors, but still really, really pretty. And the storyline is a lot more aligned with factual life as squirrels. Um, it goes through what a squirrel would normally do, collecting nuts, putting the nuts in their tree, making a home, having squirrel babies, and it kind of gives more of like a realistic look into how squirrels behave and how they live out in the woods. 
And so I think this would be a really great option to pair with a nonfiction title and just getting your little ones used to talking about facts and real life versus fiction. Um, so this is definitely from that more real life point of view. That isn't to say it isn't still a sweet story. It's really fun. It's great for anyone who's looking to learn some sound words, different sounds and words, and phonological awareness. All of the pages feature just four lines, and each of the paragraphs are kind of like stanzas because the end word rhymes with each uh, line. So like hibernate, late, anticipate, great. So lots of rhyming words in this story. So really good for that phonological awareness and learning those um, vowel sounds and word sounds. So I definitely recommend this for that as well. Um, but it really, I just love how it kind of touches on that factual life of squirrels. And it just gives me such fall vibes with all these muted colors and just more darker illustrations. But it's still a really great story and one I would recommend exploring with your little ones and giving a try. I hope you enjoyed learning more about different picture books about squirrels. I hope you had a great time with me today during this book talk. For more book talks and other library programming, please visit our website at www.grundylibrary.org or check out our social media pages. Thank you so much and I can't wait to see you for our next book talk. Goodbye! <music>